Hello once again, and if you don't know already, I'm Scott Florence, and just now I'm going to be explaining what is dark energy, and perhaps I'll explain what is dark matter, or perhaps that'll come in the next video. Now, originally, dark energy was accidentally stumbled on by Albert Einstein, who we all have heard so much about. Einstein was a believer in the static universe, meaning that the universe isn't expanding and it isn't contracting, it's sort of in an equilibrium state. But, as he was working with his equations of relativity, he found that due to all the mass in the universe, the universe should be collapsing in upon itself, because the gravity should be pulling it all back in. And he basically made up an excuse for that, and that excuse he called the cosmological constant. And what it did was it balanced out his equations so that the universe wouldn't collapse in upon itself according to his equations, it would fulfil what he would like the universe to do. And that wasn't really a very scientific thing for Einstein to do. And he really hated the idea of the cosmological constant as well. But shortly after he made up this cosmological constant, Edwin Hubble started looking up into space and measured that the universe is in fact expanding, which Einstein once again did not like. But as it turns out, this cosmological constant, which Einstein called the biggest blunder of his life, could actually be real. Only we know it by a different name. We know it by the name of dark energy. And everything that we know about dark energy is pretty much nothing. What people do seem to be quite sure of is dark energy makes up about 70% of the universe. And also what dark energy does is it expands space. It's a uniform or rather homogeneous source of energy that exists in all of space and it acts as a force pushing it out. How can we know almost nothing about something that makes up about 74% of the universe? And how can we say that it's even there? Well, basically the way that we came up with it is it's basically just an excuse for why the universe is behaving the way it does. Much like dark matter. We can't see it. We only see its effects. And its effects are that it's pushing all of the universe apart. So we're saying that something's there doing the pushing. And we're calling it a dark energy. And this is something that I find very amusing. Despite dark energy basically being a value that we give to regions of space in the universe, to say that it's being pushed apart, the United States Department of Energy has funded research for looking into what dark energy is. And really the only reason for that is because we call it dark energy, even though there's no evidence that it's any actual form of energy, it could just be a property of space that exists everywhere. Well, I should add just here at the end that the reason that we have dark energy and dark matter, so something to push everything out and something to pull everything in, and we're not just saying that, oh, they cancel out, it must be fine. They don't actually cancel out. Dark matter is more to do with the clustering of galaxies and galaxies being held together and the distortion of light around galaxies and even dark matter being left behind, which I've read up about online not too long ago. That's all for now. I suspect somewhere down below there'll be a link to my talk about what dark matter is and other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. But, anyway, words. No, let's talk about... Um, <clears throat> back, back, back up. Uh, biggest blunder of his, his career. I need some tea. Oh, how British of me. Of his career. Um, I do love my tea. I have a periodic table mug somewhere. Where's it gone? Oh, it's in the washing machine. No, not washing machine. It's not in the washing machine. It's in the dishwasher. And I'm not sure how long I've been talking. That's the problem. I cannot see what you're seeing right now. I just see the camera and I'm just kind of hoping that I'm somewhere in shot and that I haven't been talking for too long. I don't know what my hands were doing just then.